Hi, this is Amy from GermanPearls.com and today we're going to talk about how to use the text to columns function in Excel to separate first and last names in an Excel column. Feel free to stop on over at the blog to check out more tips that anyone can use to make their lives easier. Now, say you have an Excel spreadsheet and you have a column of names like we do here, but your names are first and last names in the same column, you want them in two separate columns, one column for a first name, one column for a second name. Excel has a really easy function built into it that will allow you to separate this without doing a lot of manual work. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we have our column, we also have a date of birth column here. Now when Excel separates this, it's going to take John and put it in one column. It's going to put Smith in the column directly to the right. So we don't want to write over this date of birth, so we need a blank column here. So what we're going to do to create a blank column is we're going to click up here in the header for column B, and that selects column B. Then making sure we're in the home menu, we're going to go over here to cells, click insert, and that's going to give us a blank column. Okay, so now we have a blank column. It's all set and ready for the last names. So now we have to click on the column that contains the text we want to separate. So we click on the A column. Again, to highlight the whole column, we're clicking up here in the gray area around the letter A. So we click on that. Now we have the name column highlighted. We're going to go up here to the data menu and select text to columns. This is a really great function Excel has. So we're going to click on that. Now it knows we want to separate the text in this column because we have it highlighted. And you'll see the preview down at the bottom. So now we want to, in our little wizard here, it's going to ask us, choose the file type that best describes your data. We're going to choose delimited. What delimited means is that there's a specific character where we want to split the first and last name or where we want to split the text. In this particular case, the specific character that's splitting the first name and the last name is a space. So we're going to select delimited and we're going to click next. Now it wants to know what is that character? What is that delimiter? Sometimes you'll see that tab is checked. Other things may be checked. We want to uncheck everything except for space. So you'll notice as you play around with things, you have one column here. We'll uncheck tab. Now when we check space, you'll see that there's a line that's formed because now it's created two columns. So you're going to use this preview box at the bottom to make sure you're getting the right information out. You can play around with these things to make sure that it looks right. So we want only space selected. It looks good down here. We're going to click next. Now the last step of the text to column wizard allows you to set data types. We don't really need to mess with data types. We don't want to change them. So we're just going to collect, excuse me, we're going to select finish. And there you have it. Now our first name is in this column. Our second name is in this column. If we want to clean it up a bit. We can go up here. We can write first name, enter. And we can go up to this cell, we can type last name, enter, and there you go. They're all separate. It's as easy as that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we'll be coming out with a future video on how to use text to columns to separate an address into street city, state, and zip. That gets a little more tricky and we'll show you a few extra functions you can use to do that relatively easily. That's it for today and thanks for watching.